Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to crochet this bow hair tie. It's very cute and quick to make. You can make one for yourself in your favorite colors or to give it to your loved ones as a gift. You can use any type of yarn for this. The yarn I used calls for a 4mm crochet hook. If you use a thinner yarn, your bow is going to be smaller and vice versa. Let's get started. Okay, so first, I'm going to make a slip knot. And chain up 48. So after that, connect it back to the first stitch. Make sure the chain is not twisted. Make a slip stitch. So that's the first slip stitch. In the next stitch, make a slip stitch as well. In the next stitch, a slip stitch. Next, slip stitch. So we have four slip stitches here. In the next stitch, make a single crochet. So you're going to insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through. Next stitch, a single crochet again. Next stitch, a single crochet. Next, a single crochet. So that's four single crochets in total. Now we're going to make one half double crochet in the next 12 stitches. So in the next stitch, make a half double crochet. You're going to yarn over first, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. In the next stitch, a half double crochet. So that's the second one. Three. Four. So that's 12 half double crochets. Then we're going to make one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four. One single crochet in each of them. Next, one slip stitch in the next four stitches. So after that, one single crochet in the next four stitches again.
then one half double crochet in the next 12 stitches. So after I finished 12 half double crochets, I should have four stitches left. And then I'm going to put one single crochet in each of them. Okay, so that's round one. From round two to eight, it's gonna be the same for every round. So basically what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna make a slip stitch in a slip stitch, a single crochet in a single crochet, and a half double crochet in a half double crochet. And for a slip stitch, we're gonna go in the back loop only for a single crochet and a half double crochet we're going to go under both loops so i'll do round two with you together and then from there you'll know what to do from the first slip stitch insert your hook in the back loop make a slip stitch in the next slip stitch, insert your hook in the back loop, make a slip stitch. Next stitch, slip stitch. So that's the last slip stitch. Next, we're going to do single crochets. Next stitch, do a single crochet under both loops. For this round, you don't need to keep counting if you can recognize the stitches. The next stitch is single crochet, so I'm going to work a single crochet in it. Next, still a single crochet. From the next stitch, we're going to do half double crochets under both loops. The next stitch is a single crochet, so start working single crochets. The next stitch is a slip stitch, but don't forget for a slip stitch, we're only going to insert our hook in the back loop. And do four of them. Next, we go back to single crochets. Then half double crochets. Then four single crochets. So 
So that completes round two. The next stitch will be the first stitch of round three. So go ahead and finish round three to round eight, and I'll see you back here. Okay, so I finished round eight. You should have eight rows on each side. Then I'm gonna slip stitch in the next stitch, which is a slip stitch. But this time I'm gonna go under both loops. And make a slip stitch. Fasten off. Leave a long tail, maybe about two to three meters, because we're going to use it to wrap around the bow later. So for the bottom half, Make a chain of 36 after that chain one to turn make a half double crochet in the second stitch from the hook so I'm going to insert my hook in the second stitch and make a half double crochet I'm going to mark this first stitch. We need nine half double crochets first, so I'm going to put one half double crochet in the next eight stitches. Then I'm going to do one single crochet in the next six stitches. One slip stitch in the next six stitches. Then again, one single crochet in the next six stitches. You should have nine stitches left. Put one half double crochet in each of them.
At the end of every row, chain one. Turn your work. Again, we're going to work a half double crochet in a half double crochet, a single crochet in a single crochet, and a slip stitch in a slip stitch. It might be a little hard to tell the stitches since we're doing it from the wrong side, but you can always count your stitches. So again, um, for half double crochet, make a half double crochet under both loops. So after nine half double crochets, do six single crochets again under both loops. Then we're going to do six slip stitches, but be sure you insert your hook in the back loop and from the wrong side it's this one Then one single crochet in the next six stitches. Put one half double crochet in the rest nine stitches. Your last stitch should be this marked stitch. Chain one. Again, we're just repeating the same thing every row. Nine half double crochets, six single crochets, six slip stitches, six single crochets, and nine half double crochets. And for these stitches, you're going to insert your hook under both loops. And for the slip stitches, insert your hook in the back loop only. We did two rows here. You're going to go ahead and do three more rows. Finish row 5 and fasten off. Then we're going to join these two parts together. <laughs> 